so today i will briefly talk about gelman nishijima formula and gelman okubo mass formula i briefly introduce these two formula here i'm not going to talk about in detail so first of all let me talk about this formula right so let me talk about gelman nishijima formula so this formula relates this formula relates baryon number number p the strangeness and hypercharge sorry strangeness and iso spin of quarks iso spin of quarks and hadrons quarks and hadrons to the electric charge so means this formula relates baryon number strangeness and iso spin of quarks and hadrons iso spin of quarks and hadrons to the electric charge let me understand it mathematically that means the charge of quark or hadrons it can be calculated as using the formula it is the isospin i3 plus 1 by 2 of b plus s right so here this b plus s it is known as the hypercharge so it can be written as i3 plus 1 by 2 into by right so that means y is equal to b plus s but y is not actually b plus x but when we talk about it in more detail then we found that this y is actually y is actually it is b plus s plus c plus b prime plus t here what does it mean here the b is basically baryon number right and s is known as strangeness s is known as strangeness and uh, this c is known as char and uh, this t is known as topness and b prime is known is bottomness right these are the some other quantum numbers which are used during the study of uh, these what we call uh, elementary particles so this is basically this is known as gelman nishijima formula right this is the mathematical form of mathematical form of gelman nishijima formula now let me talk about another formula gelman okubo mass formula and this formula is used to calculate the or estimate the mass of the elementary particles right so i will briefly talk about its uh, basically the definition so let me now talk about gelman okubo mass formula so it is gelman okubo 
mass formula so let me talk about it so this formula is a this formula is a sum rule for sum rule for masses of hadrons masses of hadrons within a specific multiplet within a specific multiplet determined by isospin and by isospin and hypercharge and is given by that this mass is equal to a naught plus a1 by plus a2 and here it is i into i plus 1 minus 1 by 4 by square so this is the formula which was used to estimate this mass of the hadrons and here a naught a1 and a2 these are free parameters So here I am not talking about all these things uh, in more detail. I simply my objective in this lecture is to define these two formula. So in both the definitions I will talk about the hadrons, right? I will talk about hadrons. See here hadrons. So in the next lecture I will briefly talk about that. What what are the hadrons, right? So that's all for this uh, lecture.